Hey everyone, this is James with WS News. Want to bring you an important update here from the Gateway Pundit. The headline is, Secret Service Agent Accidentally Shoots Himself with His Own Weapon. The Secret Service in America not only failed to protect President Trump from nearly getting assassinated on two occasions, but it's so discombobulated that agents are now shooting themselves. WUSA 9 revealed today that a United States Secret Service agent was on duty Saturday evening right before 8 p.m. when he negligently discharged his weapon and shot himself. The incident reportedly happened near 32nd and Fessenden Streets in Northwest Washington, D.C. He was taken to a local hospital for treatment and is expected to recover from his injuries. The Secret Service is not making any further details public at this time as they plan to investigate what happened. So again, according to WUSA9 here, he shoots himself, he's expected to survive. The agent had a negligent discharge while he was handling his weapon shortly before 8 p.m. His injuries were not life-threatening and the officer was taken to a hospital for evaluation and treatment. USSS says no one else was injured in the incident. No other details have been made public so far. The Secret Service's Office of Professional Responsibility plans to investigate the incident. The Gateway Pundit previously reported a second attempt was made on President Trump's life last Sunday. Shots were fired at the 45th President's Golf Club in West Palm Beach on Sunday afternoon at roughly 1.30 p.m. as he was playing golf with real estate investor Steve Whitkoff. The shooter, later identified as 58-year-old Trump hater Ryan Wesley Routh, shoved the muzzle of his rifle through the fence line at the golf course before Secret Service agents opened fire on him. And I guess that's good that they didn't shoot themselves in this scenario um, like this one agent did. They were actually able to fire their weapons you know, at somebody trying to kill Trump. This came just two months after he came within a centimeter of being killed in Butler, Pennsylvania by a Democrat donor named Thomas Crooks. These inexcusable breaches were made possible by former DEI-loving Secret Service Director Kimberly Cheadle. Reports have revealed that instead of hiring the best possible agents, Cheadle has focused on ensuring more non-white and female agents, regardless of qualifications. So I thought this was an important update here from the Gateway Pundit. Let me know what you think about it in the comments section. I appreciate you for taking the time to watch this, and I will talk to you soon.